Well, hello there. This is Sendust7 at XDA Developers. This video is all about dual booting a Motorola Atrix 4G with Cyanogen Mod 9 and Cyanogen Mod 7. Recently, I became interested in this project mainly for the fun of it and because I like the convenience of quickly reverting to a different ROM without having to restore it from backup. I would also like to evaluate the performance of my system with SD card in the loop, among other things. From my web research, it appears that multiple attempts at dual booting the Atrix have been made without much success. I have heard of SafeStrap, but I'm the kind of person who wants to know what's happening inside the black box. So I decided to try my hand by flashing CM9 to internal memory and CM7 to my Patriot 16GB Class 4 micro SD card. I did all of this on Ubuntu 11.10 using Gparted, Android SDK, and several Perl and Born shell scripts that I either customized or created. The experiment was successful as I now enjoy my CM7 build running from the SD card with stable browser, keyboard, and camera. And I can still use Joker's kitchen sink to explore some of the many possible ROM configurations without touching the CM7 build. And now for the demo. My boot ROM shell script. You can see the argument is 2 there, and that's for selecting Cyanogen Mod 7. Rebooting. My preliminary experiments uh, showed that uh, rebooting to the other ROM took about 45 seconds. And up comes Cyanogen Mod 7. There we are. Now, I'll reboot back to Cyanogen Mod 9. Surprisingly, Cyanogen Mod 7 booted almost as quickly as Cyanogen Mod 9, even though it was on the SD card. And there we are. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. For additional detail, please see my thread under Dual Boat Atrix at XDA Developers. Goodbye.